Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, Round 9. And this is a sketch we'll be using today, a double page layout. And it's by Lottie Loves Paper. It has five photos, so I will have five photos. I am showing it there on my printout. <laughs> and I'm showing the dies I plan on using. And I already cut them out and put them together and inked them. The largest tree there, I'm going to be using it in my layout. And then that bottom title there. Plus, I'm going to end up pulling another one in. And these are the colors that I'm going to use for my trees. And I'm going to use that craft consortium. And I picked that metallic one out there. And I am going to use a wood grain paper there. Those alphas, <laughs> I showed them. And they are already on the die cut that you seen earlier. I planned on putting them together instead of having them separate. But I apparently fell down on the job and it ended up on the bottom of the stack. I didn't want my paper just to be plain white, and this is watercolor paper. So you've seen me spray it first so my watercolor would spread just a little bit easier. And I'm doing the top with a light blue and then the bottom with a green. But you're not really going to see much of the green. I think a tiny, tiny bit ends up showing up on the right-hand side. But I don't think any shows up on the left-hand side. But I'm doing it anyway, and I'm using some Prima paints I got for Christmas. And, yeah, it does take me a second to do this. I guess I'm being a little pickier than I thought I was. I should have probably cut out a little more. I thought I had, but apparently I didn't. But it seemed like at the time that I did. Anyway, I, I am done finally. And I'm going to let that dry a minute while I work on my trees the tree I picked this one because it was the tallest one of the ones that I had and I used that uh, stenciling brush oh I don't know if it's actually a brush or what but it's close to my heart and I've had a very long time and it's just plastic mesh like stuff but while I was using it I was thinking you could probably just use a brush and sprinkle some ink on there and it probably have the same effect and then I ink the edges and I'm just using the scraps to make some grass I, that way it's longer than my grass punch is I do have a grass border punch and it, each one's going to be a little bit different I am going to try to put my photos similar to what they have in the original layout but I kind of like my photos overlapping, so I will end up overlapping them. At first, I thought I did it the same way, but I do end up overlapping it. And I'll have a lot of indecision here. I am putting those two pieces that, well, four pieces, to go across the layout with the wood grain. And I really didn't need to put them on yet because I have another thought in my head. Only I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to be using it. So I will be pulling them up a little bit and tucking under. Yeah, I should have thought about it a little bit more before I got started. This is that metals paper that was in the Craft Consortium paper pad. And it's the one I picked because I thought it looked more like some of the rocks that I've seen at Elephant Rocks. And in that close-up picture, the largest one, you can tell that it does have metals in the rock. And I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't sure how I was going to be doing this. And looking at it, I didn't like that right off the bat, that empty space down there at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure the one on the left has the, that part covered. And then I'll end up doing it on the right-hand side, too because I did like it better. I am inking all the pieces in the rusty hinge just to give the edges a more finished look and give it a little more rust. I do love rusty hinge ink. I think it is just so pretty. I was going to go all the way across 
and then I realized that that one edge was long enough that I could just cover it up and I'm just going to tuck it underneath that large rock on the right hand side and yeah um some are going to be different sizes from the others and I'm going to go end up going all the way across at first I thought I'd just put a couple in but the more I looked at the layout the more I decided I needed them to go all the way across and my photos kept getting in my way and I kept thinking I should have just left them to the side and not even put them on here yet although I was thinking the reason I was doing it was so I'd know where five photos was going to go on my layout so I could kind of work around them. I'm not quite used to working with five photos all the time. This one is going to go all the way across between the two pages to make it, you know, more into a two-page layout rather than companion pages. And while I'm putting them all on there, I'm going to mention <laughs> that down there below, that you'll find the links to everybody else that are doing Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches this time around. Some will be doing them every day and others will be doing them the days that they can because, you know, it does take time to do the layout, of course, and then also the video editing. And not everybody can get it done every day, but it is awesome that they get any done, believe me. It's a great hop. I really, really like it. I like seeing what so many people do with the same sketch. And every time it just gets to be a bigger hop than it was the last time. Because everybody enjoys the sketches that Christy picks. And they enjoy doing them. And it gives them a variety of layouts they may not otherwise have. I cut out all these trees in four different uh, card stocks and once I started putting them on I got to thinking I like some in the background and I did a layout with trees in the background one time with mixed media and I just used the watercolor brush and made some by making streaks across there and different ones mentioned how they wish they could do that well this is the negative piece that I used for the trees and I just inked them so you can get similar effect as with the paintbrush by just using the negative piece from your trees and inking it. And the ink I'm using for them is peeled paint. I am going to go ahead and tuck my trees back in now that I've got the trees in the background. I will be putting them on the other page too. But I thought I'd see how I liked it on this page, even though I wasn't going to go back <laughs> and make this one over if I didn't like it since I got started. But I thought I'd go ahead and test it out in case I wanted to do something just a little bit different on the right. But I ended up doing it basically the same way. And one good thing about it, if you decide to add, you can do this right here and just add. You can't tell that it was added later, either one of the trees that I added. They just blended right in with the rest of the ink that was already on there. My photos were from a day trip that I took with my grandsons, and we went to Elephant Rocks and a few more places that day. But I took a lot of pictures, and I don't have near all of them scrapped. And, of course, I have to do it for both boys albums so they can have copies of them and then you know I had already did the ones for mine so I am working on the boys but uh yeah I enjoy getting to do them a different way each time get another idea even though it's the same photos and that way their layouts don't look exactly like each other's when I first started doing albums I did kind of like an assembly line thing and I would make all the kids have the same album. Basically, I might run out of a paper, but usually I didn't. I'd buy several pages of whatever I was going to use. But then I decided that just wasn't any fun. And so, yeah, everybody's is a little bit different. And the reason I didn't use the negative from one of the actual trees I cut out, I wanted that extra space around the edge of them. 
and that way when I went to ink, I wouldn't have no lines from inking a little too far over. And so I just went ahead and used white for it. So far, I have the two pages of the original sketch, five photos and matting underneath the photos and circles. I have them. They're just not in the same place. And they're considered rocks on my layout. But instead of having stars, I'm going to have just all kinds of different things that are from the outdoors to go more with my layout. But the sketch is definitely my inspiration for this layout. I probably wouldn't have made it otherwise, but it gave me ideas and I thought of different ways to use those ideas. Well, the ones on the sketch to work more with my layout. I am putting foam tape behind that front picture just to give it a little bit more variety and oh my title <laughs> that is hero arts and I got several packages one time from peachy cheap and I'm always telling myself to remember I have them and use them and forget but you know I remembered mostly because I forgot to use it on another layout that I did I think it's coming up in a few days. I think, I think. <laughs> and it, it had a big word down across the bottom and I planned on using these and forgot. My title ended up somewhere else completely. But these were on my mind, so yeah, I used them today. I am so tickled about that. The compass that I'm putting on there is bell binders and the signpost thing, I cut it out twice and then I layered the signs part on there again and I thought, oh, what am I going to put on the signs? And then I thought, I think since all there is is rocks there and more rocks and more rocks, I'm just going to put rocks on each one of them. So yeah, it has rocks on every one with different fonts from that sticker sheet that I showed earlier. And I think that was basic gray. I've had it a long time, but they are tiny, so they fit pretty good on there. The, oh, I am just starting to tuck the grass in different places. And then I have that ribbon from Hobby Lobby and it's called, this one is called Moss. <laughs> Yeah, it's called moss. It's a mesh ribbon, and it's called moss, green moss, I think it's what it's called. Then there's one that's taupe, and then another one, and I'm not sure what the name of it is, but it looks just like the taupe, only it has what looks like snow on it. So there is a few varieties, and they are seasonal, so you have to get it while they are in season. <laughs> and yeah, I cut it apart so it'll go a little bit farther. And I like the edges, and it, and it looks like sticks. It looks like sticks with green moss on there. So I'm putting it in several different places on my layout. And I'm just using liquid glue to adhere it down. I had this little ticket made up earlier, and I had used adhesive to stick it down on the, like I did this time, on the cutting board, cutting mat so that I could write without it moving and all I did was write elephant rocks on it and then I guess it stuck to something is what I'm assuming and it just disappeared so I had to do it over again so I did ink my grass I decided that these these blades <laughs> needed just a little bit more so I threw a little bit more ink on them and I am using different shades together because when you look at grass a lot of times it is different shades and so I use the same cardstock, you know, as I showed earlier, with that I did for the trees. And I got to use some more of my scraps up, which is always good. I am not sure what thickers those are. I am thinking maybe, maybe Amy Tan, but I'm not 100% sure. The word remember was on there. I wanted something on the left that looked kind of bare. <laughs> So I'm putting the word remember on there. And the ER looks so funny, but it's on there. 
I ranged it two or three times and I just did it again and I still can't get it to look right. But that's what that word is, is remember. I just must not have any talent whatsoever putting those foam cursive words down. I am using um, Mr. Huey's bookworm to sprinkle on my layout. And I think that's the last thing I end up doing with it. And I will be done with it. I know it's been a long video. And if you stuck it out, thank you so much. But uh, yeah, two page spread. And so, yeah, it took me longer. Some people can do two pages as quick as I can do one anyway. But me, I, I definitely had to have the extra time. But I did have a lot of fun making it. Um, let's see if there's anything else I did that I may not actually mention. Nope, I don't think so. I've got that camera on there. Which, you know, and the word discover and arrow. And those came, those all three came from a Teresa Collins die set. And that little geo tag did too, but I put it on the Spellbinders compass. And see, there's the B-E-R. You can barely tell it's it. Maybe if I had it up a little bit higher and my R could hang down lower, it might have looked better. I don't know. Sometimes I do have trouble with the curse of words. And there's my... If, if you notice on one of the photos, it looks like the boys are a lot higher than me when I took the photo, which they were. So I wanted to make sure the trees were kind of up high too to give the same effect. But yeah, there's my grandsons and my elephant rock sign. But if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you who already are, thank you so much. And I want to thank you all for watching my video today. And if you stuck it out to the end, even more so. So have a happy, scrappy week. Have fun on the hop. Bye.